Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I wanted to go over some gift ideas from the thrift store. That's right, the thrift store. Now, the thrift store is not the first place that you would normally think to buy gifts, or at least I think most people would not think to buy gifts. I definitely didn't really think of the thrift store much to buy gifts, even though I've received gifts from the thrift store. I just myself didn't think to go there to buy. But there are actually quite a few things that you can do that are awesome gifts that you can get from the thrift store. Most of these are gonna be for children. Um, I think pretty much all of them, unless you just happen to know of something that you could get for an adult. But uh, children are definitely easier to do from the thrift store than adults. But first off, you can always check thrift stores for new items. A lot of times thrift stores will have brand new items that have never before been used and they're just selling them at a discounted price. So there you go. Um, places like Target actually, and I, I happen to know this for a fact, they take their uh, clearance stuff that didn't sell and they give it to Goodwill. So if you can figure out which Goodwill that is around you is the Target dump, you can get brand new Target stuff at the Goodwill. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is getting a little more creative and well, you can look for gently used toys which that's not too creative, but you can find some good, gently used toys at thrift stores, especially for younger children. I feel like the younger the child it is, the easier it is to find toys for them. But you can find some for older kids as well. Um, but then onto the creative part is create things that you wouldn't normally think are toys and make them into toys. Um, you could do an office set and get a keyboard or um, an old telephone, um, any kind of thing like that that you'd maybe find in an office that's old from the thrift store. I mean, obviously don't get one that's all broken and gunk junky, but um, like you can find just a nice keyboard. It's just, it has no other parts to it. And what are you gonna do with it? Or maybe you even have these lying around your house and you can put them together. You could maybe add some kind of a fun, like kind of an office type paper. You can maybe add some name tags that either you can find or you could even make yourself. Make a little kit of things for them to pretend play office or come up with other things. Uh, pretend play grocery store or um, what's another one they could do? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Library. My kids like to pretend they're at the library. They like to set up a little library stand and pretend they're at the library. So just go to things that you wouldn't normally think to look at. Electronics. Um, houseware and be like, hmm, what could I turn this into? You could find some dishes that are plastic to give as a little dish set to a little girl to add to a kitchen set. Um, or you, I mean, if she's a little older, you could even give her some glass ones if you know that she's not gonna, you know, just break them. And then it's like she has some that are just like mommy's, but they're for her. And you know, you don't spend a fortune and honestly, you spend way less than actually if you buy a toy. But um, they're really neat and the kids think they're awesome. The more realistic things look to kids, the more awesome they are to them. So those are some things you can do with that. Um, so just be creative, think about something they'd enjoy playing and go with it. Another thing you can do is look for furniture and upcycle it. So like the other day, I saw this really big um, CD tower. It was like wood and it had two doors that open and you put your CDs in. Well, no one really keeps that many CDs around anymore is probably why it was there. But what I was thinking is it looks just like a refrigerator. So you could totally turn that into a refrigerator super easy. Just take the shelves that roll out that had the CDs in it and put maybe a stationary shelf or maybe even just leave the rolling ones depending on how old your child is. Um, I didn't think it'd work for mine because I know my little one would pull it out and probably try and climb on it and it would tip. So that wouldn't have worked for her because she's too little. But like my six-year-old, if I only had my six-year-old, it would have worked great for her. Um, and then all you would have had to done is paint on the door something to make it look more like a refrigerator. Like paint maybe a little thing that looks like where you would get water or, you know, just something fun like that. You could even paint it with that magnetic paint so actual magnets stick with it. I mean, you could get really creative with that or keep it really simple. So look for pieces of furniture like that that you could turn into something. Um, other ideas you can turn into are just a normal kitchen set. A lot of people have taken old um, TV hutches and turn them into kitchen sets. You can do coffee tables or side tables 
and turn them into a Lego table, a car table, like a Hot Wheel car table, um, a dollhouse table. You could set it up somehow so that if they're getting a dollhouse or have a dollhouse, they could set the dollhouse on top of the little coffee table or whatever and maybe even make a little yard or paint something on there. And then they can sit and be able to see into their dollhouse easier. Um, there's lots of things you can do with some old furniture and turn them into really fun kid things. Um, a grocery store or a little like market stand, a lemonade stand. Um, yeah, you guys, it is just endless. Just use your creativity and when you go to look at the furniture and electronics, be like, what else could this be? What could I turn this into? And it is amazing the possibilities that open up at the thrift store. And then you get to give an awesome gift to your kids or a child that's special to you that they love that you didn't even spend that much money on. And honestly, it's kind of one of a kind. You won't be able to buy something quite like that either. So I hope that's given you guys some ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We'd love to have you guys stick around. And Merry Christmas. Bye.